All right, guys, so I'm going to clean the engine bay of this car before I put that motor back in. So right there is what I'm using, two cans of oven cleaner, a can of brake parts cleaner, and then I have a hose which I've hooked up to my hot water heater. Um, the hot water will help with the breaking down the grease and getting it to run. Um, I'm going to start off with the brake parts cleaner just to try to break up some of the heavier areas and, uh, you know, try to get just a bunch of the grime off with it and then I'll come back with the oven cleaner and I'll do two cycles of it. I'll use a whole can, let it sit for about five minutes and then wash it off with the hot water. Um, when it comes to aluminum, you can't really leave it on there more than like five or eight minutes because it starts to change the look of the aluminum. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, I might leave it on in some of the other areas. Um, the steel um, might leave it on a little longer there. Now I'm gonna spray this on the vacuum hoses and everything. Um, and I'm just going to wash it off within about five minutes. Um, I've only used this stuff on aluminum wheels before, so I want to give it a try doing this, and we'll see how it comes out. I'm going to do all this. I don't have enough room to film it all, time lapse it or nothing, um, but I will uh, just come back in in between each step. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the parts cleaner now, get the initial gunk out, and uh, Actually, I'm going to lay something down so it catches most of the grease, but then I'll come back. All right, I'm actually going to come in here and show you guys in detail. It's going to be really hard because it's so bright outside, but you can actually see layers of crap. The light's not very good, but so it's extremely dirty. And there's some rust from the battery box back there. And then this is the side that the rod went through the block. So yeah, and this is all really grimy. So kind of give you guys a before and after. All right, now I'm gonna spray the, bark, uh, the brake parts cleaner. All right, so I uh, hit it with the part, brake parts cleaner um, just to kind of loosen it up. Nothing really happened too much um, with that. And then I just did the first can of the oven cleaner so I'm going to let that sit on there for about five or eight minutes and then uh, I'll give it that first rinse and then I'll come back and I'll give you guys a closer look and see, um, you know, exactly what it did take off and, you know, how good of a job it does do. And then uh, I have that second can, so we'll do this twice. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. So it's going to be probably hard to tell, but that helped out quite a bit took a uh, quite a bit of it off of there um, transmission is still pretty grammy but hey, I found it, right there. it needs another coat over here it didn't take quite as much off this stuff's a lot thicker you can see it started to um, I will tell you the and it peeled that paint off um, which no big deal I'm not worried about that stuff too but just a couple the final is okay so here's the end I uh two cans oven cleaner the can of car or brake parts cleaner and then just hot water from a hot water heater no spray nozzle just the end of the hose I don't have a pressure washer nothing but if you look from the beginning, and I wipe back here some, so look at the clean that's coming off, and that stuff's wiping right off. I haven't wiped it all down, but I mean, it is absolutely much, much better. Now, I will tell you, I left it on there a little longer than five, eight minutes because it was so grimy, and it did peel some of my paint. Um, so if you're gonna do this, be careful. I'm not worried about it because this is so dirty it needs to be completely pulled apart and painted anyway so sometime down the road I'll do that I'm not concerned with winning a beauty contest right now but I mean it uh, took so much of that stuff off and it needs a ton more work don't get me wrong I'm out here with a toothbrush and a towel just wiping it down but this is that real bad side so it works 
um, pressure washer and you know maybe four or five cans of it would be great but so I hope that I hope that uh, you know gives y'all a little info and kind of shows y'all what I'm doing now um, haven't made any videos in a while been moving and some other stuff going on so been kind of slow on that but getting back into it um, did go to um, you pull it to find a uh, bottom end for this car. They do not have what I'm looking for at the moment um, Guy told me that they do have a couple in processing that are not out there yet So I think Friday I will be going back and seeing um, those are supposed to be out by then So we'll be doing a video on that putting this thing back together. I've got that brand new head in there Everything's laid out. I'm gonna start cleaning up some of these parts. I pulled off and uh, I'm gonna borrow a buddy's pressure washer, but I probably can't get it till this weekend and I'm going to do all this over again and blast a bunch of that crap off. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and this stuff works, man. It took a, so much of that grime off. And, uh, you know, obviously going to do the hood and stuff too. But, yeah, so just be careful with the paint. And, uh, you know, control your spray a little bit. Maybe cover the stuff you worry about. And But, man, it works really good, especially on engine parts and wheels and things of that nature. But well, I hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.